Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Riven. Last time we uh, met Catherine. She's being caged up on a far off island in Riven, thanks to Gen. Um, so we're going to have to figure out a way to free her. Uh, and then she told us to go check up on the Moiety people. Um, which we were able to do after solving that stone, uh, stone circle puzzle thing. And then it took us to this age called Tay. Uh, I read in that little journal that Catherine has. <laughs> uh, and they gave us, yeah, they gave us that prison linking book. And now sh we should be able to capture again. Um, and they also gave us a way back into Riven. So, awesome. We're actually in a very good place right now to complete the game. Uh, I, there's really no more, not a whole lot of puzzle solving left. We, we have all the pieces now, so we can we can trap Gen, free Catherine, hopefully, if we can find the code in Gen's little 233rd age after we trap him. Uh, and then signal Atris by uh, opening up the star fissure under the telescope. So I actually, between parts, read through Catherine's journal here. And my god, this thing is incredibly long. <laughs> uh... I think I think the video I made reading this was probably my most heavily edited video I have ever made. I think in the end there was like 600 audio clips. That's how much stuff I cut out because trying to read this cursive and like stumbling over my words and just getting stuck trying to read through this oh, like almost every sentence. I I kid you not. So <laughs> It may not sound like it, but that took so much editing, it's not even funny. Um, so anywho, how that little uh, rant is over. Basically, uh, her journal tells how when she came back to Riven after uh, this battle against Gen, where Atris and Catherine uh, trapped him in Riven and escaped in the Starfisher, uh, when she came back after all that, uh, the Rivenese people were considering her as a like a god because they stripped Gen of his godliness. Because before that, uh, they were worshipping Gen and seeing him lose that battle and getting trapped in Riven. Basically like, oh, he maybe he's not a god after all. Maybe Catherine is a real god. So, uh, that plan may have had some weird side effects to it. <laughs> And so now she's being treated like a god by her own people. Um, so that's weird. And uh, she's basically just been hanging out with these rebel moiety people. And uh, she actually helped them all escape to this age, Tay. I think it might have been one of Gen's books that he just kind of tossed... Uh, because it wasn't working, and she managed to fix it, and now it seems to be stable, so, uh, yeah, she's basically, they're using this Tay Age as a, a way to keep all the rebels safe from the collapse of Riven. They're trying to recruit people, the other Rivenese, Rivenese people, uh, but there's still some loyalists again, and, uh, they can't really get them all yet, so... That's kind of what they're working on now. Uh, she she left a plan. Uh, she actually says in this journal that we should use the telescope um, to break open the fissure. And uh, that should signal Atris. But of course, we have to save her first. Otherwise, that'd be kind of silly. Anyway, uh, that brings up a really good point. There are a lot of alternate endings. And I think I'm going to try to show them all. So, let's get started. I showed one in the last part, um, but there's another one I can do right now, I think. Because now that we're in Riven, if I... I think this will work. <laughs> if I touch the Prison Age thing, now that we're in Riven, we should have a different cutscene. So, let's see what that's about. I 
see you found the book. Thank you for returning it to me. It seems, however, circumstances have changed. I'm afraid my reunion with Atrus will have to wait. I'd so be looking forward to seeing you. Well, it's still time. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, he basically had his servant guy test out the book before he would go into it, and it ended up freeing us, and then he shot us, and we died. Cool. Thanks, Ken. What a jerk. Okay, so that's the first alternate ending. Uh, I mean, second. Second one. All right. So, yeah. The order of things we have to do is uh, trap Gen, rescue Catherine, and uh, signal Atris. Um, man, I don't. How am I gonna do this? There are so many different ways to end this. <laughs> A lot of them are failures too. So I guess we could go back to the telescope and try to signal Atris before. Trapping Gen or rescuing Catherine. Yeah, let's let's do that. So I'll just meet you at the telescope. Uh, so you guys don't have to watch me go all the way back there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see how that turns out. Hello again. Uh, yikes. Yeah, so that actually happens the first time you go from the main island back to the starter island. I've never actually made that trip yet, so <laughs> that's why we saw it now. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense why he's projecting himself to nobody. Maybe he's just testing out his equipment. Uh, but if we try to like catch up to him, and run up to where the projecting room is. I'm pretty sure he's not there. Even though he should be. Yeah. It's just empty. Okay. Anyway, uh, we are here at the telescope place. So let's do this. First things first, we gotta put in this code. Uh, which I wrote down. This is in Catherine's journal, also. Uh, let's see. It might, I, I don't know if this code changes, but I'm pretty sure the code to Catherine's cell changes every time you play the game. But anyway. Code is 2, 1, 4, 3, 4. Open. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now can we see the stars? Oh, look how beautiful! Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Let's break it. <laughs> nice. Uh, also in Catherine's journal, she mentioned how Gen would, like, throw people into the fissure or something and use this telescope to see what happens to them. I think that was in hers. I can't even remember if I mentioned that yet. <laughs> but, yeah, this image doesn't seem to be changing that much. But look, there's like a... A space where there's no stars. See that? I think that has importance. But I'm not really sure. That might be like another world or something. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. And one more. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it did not work. Well, uh, in Catherine's journal, she mentioned they, there's a step over here. Yeah, this thing. Keeping it from uh, going down any farther. But now we just disabled that. So, uh, good game.
book is empty. I don't understand. You never did. Father. Father? I am no longer your father because you are no longer my son. Well, that was a pretty grim ending. <laughs> Yikes. So yeah, we both got shot. Awesome. Alright. Okay, well. Now that we've seen uh, what happens when you try to signal Atris before doing anything you were supposed to do. <laughs> now we're going to go back into Gen's 233rd age and... Uh, see what he has to say now that we have this prison book. I mean, totally legit linking book. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, again. Well done. I was greatly relieved when I received word that you had recovered the book. I don't quite know how you managed it, but if I may. Thank you. Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. Oh God, he's so suspicious, man. Well, uh, another alternate ending is to deny doing that. Apparently you need more time to decide. Yes, please. Please understand there is nothing I want more than a chance to resolve matters between Atris and myself. Especially in light of what has become of Catherine. But unless you are willing to demonstrate to me that your intentions are honorable, I cannot risk it. The sanctuary I've been writing for the islanders is nearly complete. After all these years, it would be a shame if I were unable to finish it. The work I am doing is quite demanding. Please don't signal me unless you've decided to use the book. The switch will reset itself once you link from here. Okay, well yeah. One of the alternate endings uh, is to keep coming back to this age and denying <laughs> or like saying, I, no, I don't want to link to this. 
What are you crazy? Because uh, then he'll be so suspicious that he just gets kind of impatient. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna uh, link to one of these and link back, and we'll see what he, see what happens. Okay, we're back the second time. Let's uh, signal him with this thing. I'm relieved you've returned. I thought perhaps you had decided against it. Here, I shall follow you directly. Uh, no. Please. <laughs> no, that's, that's quite all right, sir. You're free to go, but I think you should not come back unless you are willing to use the book. What is he doing out there? Isn't that the thing he shot us with? What is he doing? <laughs> hunting? Hunting things? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave and come back again. Okay, third time's a charm? Third time's a charm, maybe? through this book. Take it. Mm, nah. You see, I have changed. There was a time when I might have let you live. Made that mistake with Atrus once. It's a pity you decided not to give me a second chance. Well, this ten time. Well, shoot. We just keep on dying, don't we? <laughs> Okie doke. Well, meet you guys back there. Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. Okay, no problem, dude. <laughs> oh, we got fooled big time. So, because we decided to uh, click on the book that time, he thought, ah, oh, there must be nothing wrong with this. And so uh, then he took our place in the prison, and now we have again in a book. Oh, how lovely. How very lovely. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's check out what he's got going on in here. Got a lot of nice little dingle doodles. Research apparatus. 
Is this a, a bone in a glass? Ugh. What in the world? Oh, nice beetle, man. Very fancy. Oh, and there's a there's a pen for writing. Sweet, man. And this looks like a big old oh, it's a linking book. Oh, you know what? This is the age he must be writing right now to get all the people out of Riven. Well, he didn't finish it, so good game, people. Good game indeed. Can't go outside, but seeing as how he was wearing a whole bunch of fancy clothes, I don't know if it's really safe to go out there. <laughs> Got a lever. Oh, thank goodness. So glad that cage is gone. Alright, and we got a fancy little stove we can turn off. Not sure if that was a good idea. Feel like that was probably on for a reason. <laughs> that might be what's powering the books, actually. Come to think of it. Okay. So, uh, only thing left to do, really, is go down this creepy pit. Oh. Oh, it's his bedroom. Oh, what a comfy little bed you got there. Wow. You got a house cleaner, or you just really like to tuck your sheets on there? Hmm. Well, those sound effects sound awfully familiar. That's probably the code to Catherine's cell. I'm gonna have to write that stuff down. <laughs> okay, let's listen to it one more time. Hopefully I get it this time. Okay, well it sounds like a ding, clatter, tick, ding, ding to me. So that's what I wrote down. <laughs> what do you have in your drawer? Clothes? Pajamas? Underwear? Don't look in there, man. Looks like he has a journal right there, too, so we'll have to look at that. What is this? An instrument? He's musical. Oh. So, this man here and this woman here. Two gen. Wow, that is really small. Oh man, that's really small. And I can't zoom in on it. Lame. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are probably Gen's parents. Uh, and they were the main characters of... I, th I think it was just the first... Maybe the second uh, Mist books. Um, that I read back in middle school. So this is Atreus. It's like Atreus but with an I. Before the U. <laughs> Atreus. Uh, might be pronounced Atreus, I don't know. And Tiana, I believe was her name. And she lived on the surface. And Atreus was born and raised in Dany, uh, deep underground. The underground civilization of Dany. So, yeah, they're... A pretty odd couple, and uh, when Tiana moved down to Denis, everyone was like really hesitant to have her there because she was a surface dweller and everything. So, mismatched relationship uh, gives rise to Gen the crazy man. Uh, and I I can't remember, but I I feel like Tiana was really good at writing ages, even though she wasn't of Denis blood. So, yeah. She caused a lot of problems for people. Oh, 
Hagamem, San Botegan Shem, Fasi. Hmm. That looked like the same lady. Maybe it was a message from his mom. Uh, I think. Maybe. Maybe it was his wife or something. Man, I, I don't really remember. <laughs> it's probably in his journal. And I'll probably uh, have to correct myself. But anyway. Oh, this is the tapestry with the Easter egg in it. I think. This is his fountain for brushing his teethers. Okay. Uh, looks like that's just about everything in here. So let's check out this cool little Easter egg I did not know even existed. I hope I can do it. Should just be able to click on the center of that, right? Dang. Wait, wait. Ah. Oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> I thought you would be able to do that. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. So let's see how long this thing is. Hopefully not too long. Uh, wow. Never mind. <laughs> this is gonna take me a bit to read. Oh, not too bad though, I guess. Okay. Well, no problem, man. No problem. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I suppose, end this part here. I'm not really sure how long it's going to be. Uh, cut out a lot of stuff. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I'll read this off screen. I'll put a link to uh, that if you want to hear me read that. See what that's all about. Uh, I'm sure it's going to reveal a lot of stuff about Gen's personal life. Stuff like that. Uh, and then... Next time, we will uh, check out some more endings, uh, and that, it, you know what, it's probably going to be the finale, because there's really not a whole lot left to do. Uh, other than freeing Catherine and uh, signaling Atris, we really don't have anything else to do, so, <laughs> yep. Just going to check out uh, all the rest of the endings, I guess, and that'll be that. So, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.